clouds out. Good morning guys and welcome back to Bucharest, Romania. We've got something extra special planned for the day because we're going to be heading out of the city center and going on a tour of Dracula's castle. I know almost nothing about kind of the history of vampires in Transylvania, so I'm really excited to learn more about that and get to see a pretty epic castle. I'm so excited and it's also kind of funny because today the tour is also taking us to the town of Brashov and we'll be there in a few weeks so it'll be fun for us to get a little sneak preview of there. Anyways, we're heading off to the bus station now to get picked up and I can't wait to get going. Oh, we also have to give a big thank you to Mr. Tripp's tours for accommodating us today. So thank you guys and thank you Anastasia, we are really excited. We've got about a three hour ride out to Dracula's castle, which will be our first stop of the day. And we're on the bus now. It's great because it's air conditioned and we have a USB plug to charge our phones. So we're just gonna kind of hang out now and enjoy the ride. a.m. <laughs> we're snacking on potato chips because that's the only snack we brought. But we're about one hour from the castle now. It's been a windy road, very bumpy too, but it was nice to have a break and I am so stoked to be at the castle. I cannot wait to see it. All right guys, we've just arrived at the castle. So a little bit of kind of road work going on, so we hit some traffic and it set us back, but we're finally here now. And it's just kind of a short walk through this main touristy area to get up to the castle. Oh, I just saw it for the first time. It looks super cool. And the town we get dropped off in is called Braun, and it's kind of cool. It's like Transylvanian style and all that. Um, but it looks like it's just a short walk up to the castle. Part of our tour includes a wine and cheese tasting before we go into the castle. And we've tried Bulgarian wine, which was awesome. So I'm really excited to see how Romanian wine is. And I love cheese. So, I mean, any excuse to eat cheese is a good reason in my book. There's a sign that says try to avoid walking alone at night. If you don't want your blood soaked. <laughs> It's a lot of steps to get up here. <laughs> so many. They don't pull up the castle on top of a hill for nothing. <laughs> After the wine and cheese tasting, we started our tour of the castle. We got to see the bedroom of Queen Marie of Romania from when she lived here in the 1900s. One of the biggest surprises was how small everything in the castle was. Everything is super narrow. The ceilings are low because this castle was built over 600 years ago when people were a lot shorter than we are now. Continuing through the castle, we were marveling at the intricate designs inside, the beautiful architecture on the outside, and the amazing views the castle has of the surrounding areas. But since we were there in July, the place was really crowded. There's so many people in here, and the ceilings are so low. 
There were even some parts that were a little scary. One room had chainmail, suits of armor, and some weapons that looked terrifying. But there was one room that was even scarier. Here you have the torture room. This thing's got like spikes coming out of it and there's like metal things on the wall. Oh boy. Oh boy, super scary. <laughs> Super quick, I'll do like a little history lesson because this is super interesting. But basically, like Dracula, the book that was written was inspired by Vlad the Impaler, who was this crazy ruler that was here. And he used to punish criminals with, you guessed it, impaling them. He had this like long stick that would enter in their lower back and then it would come out through their head. And so it would take days for them to actually die. And supposedly, as he was torturing them, he was would drink their blood, which we don't know if that's true or not, but that's where the kind of vampire rumors started. But anyway, it's definitely crowded, but super cool to see. Yeah, such an awesome thing. I've never been in a castle before, so very cool first experience for me. And it's just so cool. I mean, it's a 600 year old castle, you guys. Come on. <laughs> really cool. Guys, we're heading into Brasov right now and our van pulled off and we just have the most incredible views of the city from up here. We can see the Brasov sign, we can see all of downtown, and honestly, I didn't realize it was such a big city. There's a lot going on down there. I know, it's all in a valley, it's surrounded by mountains, how cool is this? It's super cool, I can't wait to get in the city and check it out. We are totally starving because it's now almost 3.30 and we haven't had lunch yet. So we just sat down at a restaurant. It's called Brasserie Luther and they've got like authentic Romanian food and cold drinks and it's really nice inside. So we're gonna sit and have a nice leisurely lunch and then we'll go walk around in Brasov. 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 <laughs> resist ordering a burger when it's on the menu even though we're in Transylvania right now and we could try all this amazing Romanian food we being the Americans that we are see a burger on the menu and we have to order it I am not apologizing sorry not sorry so we just finished up lunch which was pretty good and there are some very dark clouds out so very possible that it might rain. The clouds are actually right behind the black castle right now, and it looks pretty freaking epic. So I think we're gonna head over there and check that out. I know the audio is gonna be so bad right now, but it doesn't get dark like this until like eight or nine o'clock at night and it's like four in the afternoon so a big storm is coming. I'm so excited. <laughs> the birds are going absolutely crazy with this storm coming in and we are starting to feel drops of water right now so trying to find a coffee shop before we get completely soaked. 
How about... KFC. <laughs> We're not going to KFC, I'd rather get soaked. <laughs> I mean, is there even a better way to wait out a storm? <laughs> it's like the only way to do it. Got two Stella drafts for super cheap. We're sitting in the window. We are watching people get poured on. Yeah. And it's actually turned into a different afternoon than I was expecting, but a pretty good afternoon nonetheless. Yeah, and the best part is this Stella is 10 lei, which is like just a little bit over two bucks. So awesome deal. Drinking Belgian beer in Romania. We got called out for drinking Belgian beer in Croatia. Now we're doing it again in Romania. Gosh, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Just tell Belgium to stop making such damn good beer. <laughs> you guys, there is nobody in the main square right now. This storm is rolling in. It's gonna be an interesting ride back to Bucharest. Okay guys, we just got back into Bucharest and even though it wasn't stormy and rainy the entire way, it still took us a pretty long time to get back. Yeah, it was definitely a cool day because we got to see so much, but we were in the bus a lot of the day. I think like seven or maybe eight hours we were in that little bus, so yeah. definitely a long day, but very glad that we got such a cool tour of Transylvania. Yeah, it was super cool to see the castle and First time being in Transylvania for the both of us, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful region. You know, I feel so lucky to have been there. It's so many people's bucket list to go see where, you know, vampires supposedly were. So I'm really glad that we got to check it out, and I hope that you enjoyed checking it out with us. Yeah, it was such a good day, and it was a long day too. I think we're looking at like 14, 15 hours door to door, so I'm wiped. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe and let us know what you thought. Thanks for coming along with us. So one of the things that Jack and I have been working on on ourselves through our traveling is patience. We both are very impatient and we like things on time, we're type A, and so right now is a bit of a test of what we've been working on because our tour group had a set meeting time and now there's two people who were already late before and they haven't showed up. We're waiting outside and we're trying not to get frustrated or upset but we're also kind of annoyed right now like people if you're in a tour group and they set a meet time show up at the meet time like please just do your tour group a favor